When you react an ester with lithium aluminum hydride, you end up getting an alcohol. The way this works. is you have your lithium aluminum hydride and the electrons from the aluminum hydrogen bond go add to the carbonyl electrons go up to the oxygen now normal normally in a lithium aluminum hydride reaction, the resulting O minus will add to the neutral aluminum. But in this case, before the O minus has a chance at adding to the Lewis acidic aluminum, what happens is the electrons come back down and kick off the methoxide group. And that generates an aldehyde plus methoxide. The methoxide is what ends up adding to the ALH3. And that generates this hydride. Now, your aldehyde here right here is a much more reactive than the ester and so before another lithium aluminum hydride reacts with the ester it reacts with the this aldehyde first generates this alkoxide, and this alkoxide then adds to the ALH3, which is the Lewis acid. And you generate another hydride source, and this hydride source, or the hydride source here in the methoxide hydride source, goes back and adds to the esters, that kind of thing. And so to illustrate this, we have the words repeat. In this case, we're going to repeat it three times, one for each of these hydrides. And you end up getting this, OR, 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 where the OR group is either a methoxy group or this propoxy group right here. And then this waits for you to add the acid workup step. So in the case of H3O plus, we use that H3O plus to protonate. And then the resulting protonated alcohol leaves. And you get your alcohol here. Okay, that's all you have to show for the mechanism. The rest of these, what happens to the rest of these OR groups is water adds to the aluminum
and then we have a proton shuffle. We'll remove the proton to solvent. And then to one of these OR groups. which then fall off. And get you this alcohol, which could be methanol or propanol, depending on what group the group actually is. And then this entire process here is repeated two more times, one for each of these OR groups. So Now, it's important to realize that this mechanism goes through an aldehyde. Right there. You cannot stop at the aldehyde. It has to go all the way down to the alcohol. There's no way of stopping here, mainly because the aldehyde is much, much more reactive than the methyl ester is.